Well, as every parent knows, life is never the same after the birth of a baby. And that's the premise of a new reality show on the Learning Channel. It's appropriately called Rattled, and it explores the life-changing experience of new parenthood through the lives of four couples from across the country. One of those couples is with us today. Ryan and Julia Sadler waited seven years after they were married to have children. In 2016, Julia got pregnant right away, but she miscarried. They tried again, but while on vacation, Ryan and Julia lost a baby for a second time. We had a sense that we're supposed to be parents. I felt the whole time that it was just, God said, it's not time yet. Even after a third miscarriage that same year, Ryan and Julia never stopped believing for a family. No matter what happened, I kept just hearing in my spirit, I've got you, I know what I'm doing, trust me. Follow Ryan and Julia's pregnancy adventures and more on TLC's reality series, Rattled. Please welcome to the 700 Club, Ryan and Julia Sadler. It's great to have you both here. Thank you for having us. We're excited. It's great to be here. Thank you. Julia, you hit a prayer list in 2015. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the last thing on that list. <laughs> yes, the last thing on the list was that we would be blessed with three children. So you had a number in mind. That's so interesting. Yes, it is. Yep. 2016 was a rough year, Ryan. Tell me about what happened that year. Well, we actually, um, we started actually encountering um, difficulty um, staying pregnant, I guess you mm -hmm. would say. You know, we, we uh, experienced a miscarriage, and I'll let Julia, I mean, it was, it was not the easiest time in our family's life to have yeah. to endure those kinds of things. It was, it was hard. It was definitely loss. You know, I, I had a daughter that experienced one miscarriage, and it was devastating for all of us. How did you endure three in one year? Yeah. Well, the first one was kind of, not that it was expected, but I had a lot of friends say, you know, that's pretty not common, unusual, not unusual. Yes. And, and it coincided, actually, I'm the girls minister at First Baptist Dallas, and it coincided with an event I was having for 100 girls, which was on how God has a purpose for your life today. Wow. Mm. It was for teenagers and not that, not some future plan. I mean, of course he has one, but that there's still a purpose today. And so it was such a neat reminder that even though we had lost that child, there were 100 girls in my backyard. Um, that I was getting to pour into and so kind of the first the first miscarriage was sad but we're like okay there's still a plan here but then every single miscarriage after that went directly along with something huge going on in our ministry. And so we really started looking at it from a spiritual warfare perspective. Mm -hmm. And when we started looking at it from that perspective, it gave us the right tools and the right weapons to fight with. It must have been hard for you because I think for men often, you know, what's happening is happening to the woman and to her body. And I think for husbands, you always want to fix whatever the That's problem right. is for your wife. What was that like for you, Ryan? It, it was a... Uh, Definitely not easy to have to um, kind of come to the realization and accept the fact that there's nothing that I really could do except for uh, being there for Julia. That was probably the, the hardest thing was like, oh, well, everything's going to be okay. Well, we don't know that, you yes. know, and we had to just trust and we had to pray um, a lot about it and, and really just had to be there for Julia and really um, come alongside her and, and do what I could to encourage her, even though we were experiencing such, you know, um, tragedy, honestly. Well, what you're saying, I think, is so true. You really had to just fall back on the faith mm. Mm -hmm. that you had before. And Julia, your dad's a pastor. Yes. So how did your faith influence this process for you? Oh, yes, definitely. I'm very thankful that I was raised in a Christian home and my parents instilled in me just that we can't know what the future holds, but we know the one that holds the future. Yeah. And uh, it was interesting. It's kind of like I went through boot camp before this happened. <laughs> I became a licensed professional counselor before wow. this, the biggest battle probably of our lives. And yeah. I'm very blessed to have had a very strong faith upbringing. Yes. And that definitely prepared me yeah. for this. Thankful you know, I, for Bible I often, drill. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. I often say, get it together before mm -hmm. the, the hit comes because right. it's, it's so hard to stand in the midst of difficulty. So here you are, you've gone through three miscarriages, now you're pregnant the fourth time. I mean, at this point, <laughs> I would be so afraid to believe. Now, at how far along are you when you find out 
Yes. You are carrying triplets. Well, I, the pregnancy test comes back positive a week early. And so we have the live moment recorded and I go, Ryan, I know it's twins. I know it. And we have us praying like in the moment, God, please, because we really wanted those lives redeemed. Yes. And so we'd been praying for multiples. And <laughs> I, so we really thought it was twins, especially at our student ministry camp when I couldn't get out of bed. So yeah. we're like, something's going on here. <laughs> but we found out what week would it have been? Maybe seven. seven at seven weeks. Wow, yes. at seven weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, I can remember with my first pregnancy asking God for multiples as well, and yeah. then upon the arrival of one going, thank you, you did not listen to me. <laughs> so what's the biggest lesson? And it might be different for each yeah. of you that you've learned yeah. through this challenge. I think ours are different. Do you yeah. want to go first? Mine is... Um, it, that was a very hard time for us. It really was because a lot of things in our in our marriage were just, um, it, you know, we were kind of coasting along. We kind of were at a point where we kind of thought we had things figured out, you know, <laughs> you know, it's a and, dangerous place exactly, to be. exactly, <laughs> exactly, right? And uh, you know, and so mm -hmm. at that point, it was just it hit, and we were like, what What's going on? Like we hadn't been tested like this before, mm -hmm. you know. And so we learned through that that it's you either run to God or you run from God, and yeah. I, and I. I kind of realized that, you know, you can even have, you can have a thriving relationship with God, even in the midst of suffering. Absolutely. I mean, you can run to him, you can, you know, pray to him and he is, he is there. He is our refuge. He is our strength. And that's, that's the biggest um, encouragement or lesson that I've learned. How about you, Julia? I think the biggest one I learned is that God has a plan for us that isn't contingent on our ability to get pregnant or find a spouse or whatever we think would be the best thing that can happen. That even though our struggles surprise us, they don't surprise God. And he has a plan even in the heartbreak and the suffering. And it's going to be worth it. And you've said more than you could have asked for or imagine. Yes. Well, you kind of did ask yes. for it. but <laughs> I know. I, I always laugh whenever I say kind of the, the uh, what would you First. say? Yeah. Yeah. the verse that we prayed and yes. how we prayed and then people are like, and you didn't expect triplets. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So t I want to talk for just a second before we meet the triplets yes. about your TV show because yes. it's a new show mm -hmm. coming on the air, right? It's third, third season. Third se oh, third mm -hmm. season. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Called Rattled. Yes. It's on TLC. TLC. Yes. And people can see your story, yes. meet the kids, watch your Watch your mayhem. Right. <laughs> That's right. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, the triplets are with us in the studio. So we want to take a look at Blair, Barrett, and Blake. So two boys and a girl, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Here they come. Boy, our staff is loving this. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> look at this. Y'all can help us every day. Hi, buddy. Hello, baby. Hi. Hi. Come here. Uh, yeah. Hi, Cassie. Okay. Yes. You want to see mommy and daddy? That's probably be the <laughs> safest direction oh. here. They are adorable. Thank I, you. I just, I, I mean, I feel, I, I can't imagine. <laughs> I am speechless. <laughs> what was it like for you after you had the babies? Was it sheer pandemonium? Well, they were in the NICU for Hi. about nine weeks, <laughs> and so it was it was very difficult. And um, we watched them fight for their lives. They were only a few pounds, and wow. so so they that, came early. Yes, yes, they came. I went into yeah. premature labor at 23 weeks. Oh, two inches? And we had the neonatologist come in and say, you know, they're going to be born blind. They're going to be okay. born deaf. They're going to be born with blame, brain bleeds if they're born oh, right now. Any other good news? Yeah, yeah right. Um, and it was just so interesting because Ryan and I talked about it later, and we both just <laughs> felt in our spirit God say, no. Yeah. Like, yeah. that is not what's going to happen. Yeah. And luckily, we had so many people <laughs> praying for them. So immediately when they were born, they were in the NICU, and then they came home, and then we received then, lots of help from yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <Yeah. laughs> yes. So tell me just quickly about their personalities and uh, yes. this little guy is that's Blake. Blake. Hi, Blake. Blake. Yeah, this is Blake. Blake is, um, Hi. let's see, he, okay. <laughs> he was the last one. We, we thought, okay, Blake, you know, he's going to be kind of our easy baby. And he's easy going. He hangs out and stuff. And then all of a sudden, he just, you know, he let us know what was going on. Uh -huh. um, yes. And he's, you know, they're all. He's very sweet. He is. Blake is very sweet and very strong. And he has always really cared about how they were doing. Mm -hmm. oh, so when really? they cry, he's like, what's, what's going what's on? I, I need to take care of them. And one little girl. Tell One me little about girl, yes. Blair, is the combination of sweet and sassy. So she is very sweet and very she sassy. Is. She just looks like she 
is ready for an adventure. She is. And then when she's with Blake, she's more calm. And when she's with Barrett, she's more hyper. Good job, so she, Blake. Kinda, Good job. she goes with whoever she's with at the He's time. Hilarious. And tell me about this little guy. Barrett is a lover and a fighter. So when <laughs> when he's mad, he's mad. And when he's yes. happy, he entertains the whole I room. I like that. I like that. He's pretty subdued right You're now. <laughs> Thank Thankfully, you. Right? <laughs> well, they're beautiful, and what a great oh, story God has given yes. you. Yes, Thanks. you are hilarious. Well, we can <laughs> see more of the Sadler family on their TV show, Rattled. That's on Tuesdays. It's at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on TLC. Plus, we have a social exclusive interview with the Sadlers on our Facebook page. If you'd like to watch that, simply go to facebook.com slash 700 club. What fun, what joy. <laughs> and you are so styling, girl. <laughs> Well, coming up, a young boy becomes a Christian in one of the most Buddhist nations on earth. See how that happened. It's next. Thank you. So